Next, Chris Sacher, born in San Antonio. Received a Master of Fine Arts degree from University of Texas at San Antonio in 96. Exhibited nationally and internationally. Also solo exhibitions include John Michael Kohler Art Center in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Gallery Valerie Quito in Paris, France. I'm glad I said that, Paris, France. And art in, uh, there's a place in Miami too I can't pronounce. Group exhibitions include EDA in Limerick, Ireland. Domicile Public. Privé at the Musée d'Art Moderne Saint-Étienne, France. And wall-to-wall -wall drawing at the Drawing Center New York. In 99, he was chosen by Okui Inwesor to participate in the Art Base International Artist Residency. And he lives and works in San Antonio. If you can pronounce all that better than I can. Please welcome Chris Sager. Now before I came here, we went thrift shopping and I got some things for some friends that are here. So let me just give them to them real quick before I forget. Um, Margaret, I got your shower curtain. Okay, I'm gonna come and give it. And uh, in Hills, I found this for you. Let me give it to you. There's so many people here, I, I felt I would, I would miss them, so, okay. Uh, let me find my page real quick. All right. All right, here we go. In bull riding, <clears throat> if a ride lasts eight seconds or more, both the bull and the cowboy are judged. The wilder the bull, the higher its score. The more controlled the cowboy, the higher his score. The score for the ride is a total of the two. A perfect ride is a merger of the two, a minotaur. <laughs> the left image is my family tree branded onto a bull hide with each member represented by gender, XX or XY. The right image is my family tree sewn to a bull rider's protective vest with each member represented by their occupation. One is a biological representation of a family and the other cultural. This is an installation view of my project shown at the Dallas Museum of Art called Engaging the Minotaur. Here we see an arena made to look like domestic furniture. The viewer can sit and watch bull riding projected on two screens. Each screen shows the action from two perspectives, one following the bull and the other the cowboy. Hopefully you can tell that my work is uh, concept driven, involving a lot of thinking and planning. Here's a drawing, a plan to make a microscope from drywall harvested from a wall. With each installation made this way, there's a drawing like this. You'll see the microscope in a little, a little later. <clears throat> this is an installation in Houston. Each bench sits in front of an arrangement of shaped holes cut in the wall. The holes are arranged in, rectangular, in rectangles to mimic painting. The benches are made from the pieces cut from the walls. I wanted to play with the role of the viewer. Depending on their positions, they're either the object of the gaze of others, or they are uh, transformed into images as they are framed by the holes. The benches also function as sculptures to be looked at or furniture to be sat on. So here's two details showing how it worked. I'm interested in architecture because it is built for the body and in many ways like the body with skeleton and skin. It also affects the transmission of culture. This piece is titled Past, Present, Future. There's something unusual in the palms of the hands if you look very closely. I photographed the floor, I, I'm sorry, I photoshopped the floor plan of my parents' house uh, using the lines of my right, in my right palm, and that's the one on the left. And then in the palm on my right hand, uh, you can see the floor plan of my own house. And uh, obviously, the title alludes to palm reading. All right, uh, this is at the Museum of Contemporary Art in uh, Scottsdale. I built two sets of bleachers on either side of a dividing wall. The piece is titled Arena, Right Brain, Left Brain. I wanted to unify the dichotomy of biology and culture and the right brain and left brain. And I did this by having them made of the same stuff and come from the same place. 
This piece was destroyed within 30 minutes of the opening because uh, it's like, as if a, a truckload of monkeys was delivered to the um, museum and people could not keep their hands off of these pieces and they kept filling with them until they collapsed. <laughs> made me very happy. Um, <laughs> agriculture is a huge part of my work. I'm interested in it because it is a point when we interact directly with nature and when we separate ourselves from it. Without agriculture, there would be no civilization. This piece is two power line towers made entirely out of wheat, including the uh, wires. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This piece is called The Nature of Culture. It was in, uh, in the museum in France that you mentioned. Um, it's a dining table bisected by a hand plow made entirely from material cut from the walls. Here we have a supply and demand and town and country unified as one material and one source. Um, and of course you can see um, some details here. And the architecture of the building of course is implicated uh, within the, um, within the, uh, the piece. Marriage is a place where biology and culture interact directly. Marriage functions to generate culture and power by regulating a natural process, in other words, sex and procreation. Here the Hoover Dam sits in the mouth of a gourd shaped like two people spooning. <laughs> the Hoover Dam is a hydroelectric dam generating power by controlling flow. And here you can see wires stretching from the Hoover Dam across the bed, up the covers, and around. <laughs> All right, volcanoes uh, appear a lot in my work because they are natural examples of building their land factories. Here, the universe explodes from Krakatoa. I'm, here I'm trying to connect the Big Bang Theory uh, with the creation of the universe and the smaller uh, bang, which of course uh, built the island of Krakatoa. This piece is called Dissemination and Influence. It's a volcano erupting from a Louis XV chair and it extends out, of course, onto the floor. It was part of an exhibition uh, with the previous drawing that you saw that was done in Paris that connected the Big Bang with the eruption of Krakatoa and sex. Three explosions. In the whole world, a microscope is made from the wall. Here's that microscope. The holes are arranged to mimic the, the view through the microscope. In my mind, the microscope uh, represents searching, but also uh, quantum theory, which describes the movement of subatomic particles. On the other side of the wall is a telescope made from the wall. The telescope represents general relativity, which describes the movement of large bodies Quantum theory and general relativity do not gel. The point uh, where the two sides interact in this piece, though, you find um, the meaning, and it's totally out of reach to you. It's in the wall. This last piece is from a series that I've been doing on planes, where I write words on the windows and then photograph uh, the words. And the words are just uh, reactions to what I see out the window based on flying. And it's part of a new body of work that I'm starting about the relationship of religion and science. Thank you. Okay, uh, about that Hoover Dam bed. Uh, how, what, tell us about the, uh, the seed of that, uh, where you came up with that. Well, I've, I've been thinking about marriage a lot, particularly marriage equality, uh, being gay and not allowed to be married in Texas is very, um, is very meaningful for me, and it's a bone of contention, of course. So I, um, I'm also very interested in the interaction of biology and culture, and finding biological reasons for cultural constructs, etc. So I was thinking about marriage and trying to figure out what it meant, and trying to, so I came up with an image that talked about that. And now, uh, just a quick question about that. Now, everybody here, they, we laugh. Ah, that's kind of weird. Um, but now, if people go to see your work, I mean, do you like that? Or do you like them just pondering and, and wondering, oh, I think that means the, the spillage of something over this? Or what? I mean, you know, which kind of reaction do you like? Or are you offended by anything? Um, the only 
the only reaction I'm offended by is people sitting on those bleachers when they're not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a good sense of humor, um, and I like things to be funny. I don't make these objects to be funny, but I realize that a lot of them are funny. You know, uh, lastly, you talked about you're going to have a new uh, body of work, religion, involving religion. Now, where are we going to be able to see some of your work from here? Okay, well currently you can see six paintings of the Blue Star Arts Center. Um, that comes down November 17th, so you better hurry. Um, I also have some, uh, some public art at the Mission Branch Library, located where the old Mission Drive-In was on Roosevelt, so go see that. Um, and in a year from now, to answer your question finally, um, a year from now I'm going to sh be showing this uh, religion, science-based work. Um, starting in November, and there's, it's going to be in, in sites all over San Antonio, but the main hub site is at the Southwest School of Art, so um, be looking for that. Well, thank you very much.